So this is the photograph of the guy uh, who, who sent me the first message. I think this was around the election time. I don't know whether it is him, but this, was the, uh, this is the photograph that he had on, um, on his um, WhatsApp. This is the photograph that he had. So this is how he looks like. I don't know whether it's him, it's not him. But this photograph has been given, forensics have been done about it. So Mr. Man, if, you are, if it's you and you're watching, uh, you, you got to be careful. You have to account for the thing that you wrote. And I'm going to show you what he wrote. And importantly tonight, I will also show you uh, the messages, some of the messages that people sent as we put their poster up. So this is the guy's face. It is the face on the WhatsApp. I don't know whether it's him. Okay. So his number is uh, 024524. Uh, 6410. That's 0245246410. And uh, as at the time this screenshot was taken, his last time was 9:57 a.m. Uh, we know the date on which it was taken, but that has been given to the authorities. So he says, "Hi, Paul. Good morning." And then, uh, then I said, "Hello." Who? As I usually would do when I don't know. Then he said, "Your mother, idiot." Can't you respond to me before asking who? Then I say, good night. So I think he's gone. But let's move on. Then he comes back. Uh, so my good night is at 6.07 p.m. on the time. And then he comes back. He says, is that how you were trained in law school? No wonder you failed in your bar exams. You are such a dickhead. And I said, I go back to, I, re I repeat his message. Is that how you were trained in law school? No wonder you failed. And I just say, okay, that's, that's fine. No problem. It's okay. Then he, I, I respond, he says, you are such a dickhead. I say, maybe. It's fine. It's okay. No problem. That, that, that's fine. And then, um, okay, so that's, that's, the, that's the message by this guy. And this guy looks, according to the photograph, this is how he looks like. And that, that information has been given. Okay. So let's move on then. Now, this one comes from a number that's not... Uh, that doesn't seem to be registered in Ghana because it's plus two two. And as you know, Ghana is plus two three. We know the country of the same, but that's not important for us at this time. So I don't know him. He just sent a message and reads as follows. Hey, Paul, if you don't stop the stupid things you go on air to say, but make NDC stroke JM your continual subject instead of using the platform to look into matters, boarding the country like cost of living, good roads, hospital, etc. We shall lead you to your grannies. We know every move of yours. Your house, now that's the interesting part. Your house, wife's workplace, kids, and girlfriend. <laughs> that's, what, that, that's, that's what he wrote over there. That's, that's what he said. Wife's workplace, kids, and girlfriend. Girlfriend. Okay. Don't say we didn't warn you. We kill for a living. That's, that's the message that he put up. Okay, let's move on. Uh, so then, after that, he tries to call me. So I give the information to the important people. They said, okay, don't pick the calls, but reply in a certain way. They tell me how to reply. So uh, he calls me. I don't pick up. He then calls me by video. And this is not the first time I received a video call, but unfortunately, I didn't have it. I didn't have the record. So the first time, the other time I received a video call, and this is quite common for, for, for some of us in the media, I talk to other people. This is very common. Somebody calls you video, he has the, the hood, he's covered his face, he has his eyes, he's holding some knife and says, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I'm here. You, you see what we'll do to you. They do that all the time. They do that all the time. So when I saw the video call, I, if I opened up the video, I, I, know, I, know, what, I know what he's... So, you know, when the video call is coming in, you can actually see the way he's identified himself. Okay, so that, that was it then. He says, pick, I want... I want you to see us, so I don't pick, and then more video calls come in. Then I write this, which, is, which means something for the technical people, Roger that X25, and then he, came, he comes and says, I mean, I think he wants to say Enkwasia Sam. And then I write Kadava U W16, and he keeps replying. He doesn't know that it is the replying that will help us to unravel where he is and who he is. And then uh, he says, idiot. Why did you call me? Because I called him, you know. So when, when they are checking, they want you to dial the number, and then they are monitoring, and they are checking, and all that. So I call him. He doesn't pick up. So he says, why did you call me? I said, because you will be on TV. Then he says, get out. You are annoying sometimes. Yeah, so that's, that's the conversation I had with him. 
And uh, so we put this up. Now, later tonight, after our editorial, the uh, cyber security, the, the um, data protection people are coming here and they'll tell us exactly how they, they work to unravel some of these matters. Uh, and so those of you who have been receiving threats, there's a solution at the Ministry of Communication and you can get it. So, so she's coming here to tell us that after the editorial. But so when we put this on our social media page, we're looking at comments and we thought that some of the comments were interesting. So we should share the comments with you. So uh, here we go. So comments number one. Well, this is a comment I really like. It's Jose Chrome Moses says that, the matter chop hot. I stand with Paul Adomachi. Now, this is the, uh, from the poster we put up on TV about, about this segment of the program tonight. Uh, that, that's Osei Kromosi. Okay, so let's go and look at the other comments. They are as follows. Solomon Kwesi says, dig the person very well. Don't discount civil society organizations, CSOs, and your colleague journalists. They will use NDC to redirect the attention from them. The NDC or its members may not be very much boarded like the corrupt and crass journalists and CSOs you have been exposing. The mention of NDC may just be a caveat to direct attention from them. And um, that's, that's a very important comment, Solomon, because um, when, the, 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 um, when the first assessment of the, the work that was done, uh, the authority said that when people write and they, they point to something often, 60% of the time, it's not that. It's something else. Often, it's completely opposite. So as soon as they say, you are threatening DC and John Mahama, sometimes it's not. Sometimes, too, it is. So, so that's, a, that's an important comment. Solomon Kwesi, thank you very much. Uh, the next one is from Morrison Akron. He says, the words are too harsh and shouldn't reach this level. But brother, you are not doing the country any good with this, your show. I don't support any harsh comments, but it's more like you created that platform to discredit any important issues that will help shape the nation. You took hours to digest the Sam Jonah speech, which is very needless. You also kept quoting any speech from other parties except NPP and addressed it with a lot of hate. I personally, though, I personally, though, maybe I think it's, I personally thought you were helping the nation until I realized some few comments from you about the current hardships. Well, I don't know whether I've made some comments about the current hardship, but anyway, uh, opinions are uh, everybody's uh, platform. Morrison Akron, thank you very much for your message. Uh, next is Dennis Andaba, Andaban. He says, but why are all your programs always directed towards NDC? Not on positive grounds, but negatives. I think you need to balance and fair and be fair, I think he's saying, even though we know you to be a serious MPP member and in fact an appointee of the government. Okay, appointee of the government, it's interesting. So is the Leonard Chief Justice, so are the, all the high court judges, so are all the court of appeal judges. They are appointees of the president. Read the constitution. The president appoints 5,000 people. So if all of them are MPP, well, <laughs> okay. Al Hassan Ibrahim says, whoa, what a threat, what a threat you receive and you deliver your program successfully as if everything is okay, man, you are strong from within. Me, I can't be like you. God be your God. Okay, thank you, Al Hassan Ibrahim. Thank you. But we, we've been doing this for a while, by the grace of God. Danny AJ says that, oh, why are, oh, we are not kids, okay? Paul and his allies can do this in the name of the NDC. You have failed big time, man. We are wise enough to fall. We are wise enough to fall for this. I think he's, he means we are wise enough not to fall for this nonsense, as he says. Uh, Danny KJ, thank you for your message. But clearly, I mean, we don't have time to construct things that just to show. We don't, we don't do that. We've never done that. And we'll never do that. <laughs> okay. Theophilus, wise defender, he says his name is. He says, in fact, youth of Ghana uh, stroke Africa, I think he means. Let's arise and shine. It's very unfortunate most of us are so disrespectful. Can't you guys realize causing more harm than good to yourselves? That's interesting. He says, it's very unfortunate that most of us are so disrespectful. Can't you guys realize you're causing more harm than good to yourselves? It's high time we appreciated our leaders or elders. Paul, may God Almighty keep and protect you and your family. Never be afraid for the Lord God is with you always. Amen. Theophilus, are you a lighthouse pastor? <laughs> Somebody says the CSO is another journalist. It's really, I'm not sure about that. Akoglo Gilchrist. It says, it's all because of the insecurity situation in the country currently. Hmm. 
Okay, I can agree with you. Data protection will be here to help us understand that. Caleb Kobe Asraku says, you sit in your room and use two phones to exchange messages just to come and talk nonsense. Who cares about your sinking life? Ah, please read that quietly. Eh? The children are with you. The last sentence, say it very quietly. Caleb, Kobe Asraku, you should be ashamed of yourself. Eh? You're a social deviant. You should, you should go to the Boston Institute so they repair your brain. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are a social deviant. You come on Facebook and write things like this because you can just write things like this. Who raised you? You should be ashamed of yourself. And the person who raised you should be ashamed of you. You didn't go to a good school and you were not well brought up. This is why parenting is important. If you came from good parents, you won't write such nonsense on, on Facebook. Shame on you. <laughs> okay, wise man. Akisa says, Ah, Paul, we a joker, Papa. Hey, I don't even know what to say. Inti, is this the first time you have heard this or because you have an agenda? When the likes of Manasseh and others are threatened, what did you do? Continue to joke. I don't know what he's saying. What the life of Manasseh are threatened? What did I do? Do. I don't know what he means by that. Okay, but truly, this is not the first time these things are happening. All right. Stephen Agbenu, it's very bad to kill someone all in the name of politics. But Mr. Paul, you are not working for Mother Ghana as a journalist, but it seems you are using your platform to praise and speak for MPP. But those sending death messages must stop. Uh, okay, so Stephen Agbenu doesn't like uh, the conclusion that he has come to, that I use my platform to praise and sing for MPP. He doesn't like that conclusion. However, he also doesn't like people sending these messages. Okay, well taken. Uh, we can all say our mind, isn't it? Stephen Agbenu, thank you. Uh, okay, that's the last one. So. Uh, so I just put this up, and then um, when, we, when the data protection lady comes, we'll put it up again. She will walk us through the steps. So those of you who receive threats, either from relationships that have gone bad, or as journalists, or as public people, or as civil servants, or those of you who are on tender, th that also happens. Eh? People who are on tender committees receiving uh, bits for big, big contracts, uh, when they come for the tender interview and they think that you're asking them difficult questions, they can send you a threat. So uh, data protection is there to deal with all that. The data protection are on tonight to help us understand these things. <laughs>